वेलकम डी रॉल आई एम संदीप चौधरी फ्रॉम एस यू यूनियन जूनियर कॉलेज पुणे डे स्टूडेंट इन दिस सेकेंड वीडियो ऑफ ब्लॉग राइटिंग आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्लेन स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ब्लॉग राइटिंग वॉट आर द इजीएस स्टेप्स यू कैन फॉलो वाइल राइटिंग ब्लॉग राइटिंग सो लेट्स बिगिन स्टूडेंट्स देर आर वेरियस वेबसाइट्स आर एवेलेबल ऑन दोज वेबसाइट्स यू कैन स्टार्ट your own account as a blogger for creating bloggers account you can refer those following website student among them www.bloggers.com is very popular website which is supported by google platform itself second website wordpress.com is also available typepad.com freeblogit.com or technorcia.com and livejournal.com so these all six websites provide you free of cost ways for writing your own blog so you can choose any one website for registering yourself as a blogger on respective website student before you start writing blog you supposed to follow so we can consider requirement which things you have to consider before you start writing blog first of all you should have your gmail account or email account because a gmail account if you have gmail account definitely it would be very easy to start to register yourself on www.bloggers.com because blogger.com is supported by google and gmail also supported by google so definitely if you want to go for bloggers.com it is mandatory to have a gmail account if you want to if you want to use other website student it is also okay you can choose other email also then once you have your email account kindly choose any free blogging website student uh, try to create your account register yourself try to select domain theme other option and once your registration process will be over definitely from that point you can start blogging now before you start writing directly on the online platform student some homework should be done what kind of factors what kind of uh, content you have to prepare yourself let's see as blog consist uh, important information as blog has its own structure student as uh, here definitely blogging can benefit your personal and professional life also so while writing blog kindly consider following points title main title means headline at least your title should be catchy so the reader will come to know that yes the information which i want definitely it will it is available in the given post only given blog only so main body is the important tool to attract viewers without unique content nobody is going to visit your blog so student your blog should be in that manner you should try to collect information some research should be done don't go to other websites books and just copy paste and try to label your name there it is worthless you are going to deceive yourselves also and definitely reader don't want to waste their time definitely when you upload date time should be posted there when it published there now it is depend on you whether you want to enable comment box or disable comment box even uh, you can remove the comment or filter the comment also so setting in setting you can uh, follow those tricks category subject that entry discusses track back ping backs links to other sites may refer to that entry student 
now as i am talking about content is the most important thing for your blog so your blog should contain following things this yes, idea should be unique the information which you have organized should be in proper order or logical sequence should be maintained as idea should be unique with differ than others you have to learn how to present your thoughts in proper sequence voice is the tone and style that you consciously choose to suit the target audience word choice how you choose diction vocabulary that try to simplify the blog because it will be visited by each and every age group so definitely try to maintain simplicity lucidity in your blog simplify it don't make them confused there should not be any type of ambiguity word choice sentence fluency presentation so everything should be meticulously checked then only your content looks stronger and readers will spend more time on your blog so content is the key as i am repeatedly telling you student you don't waste people time try to read again and again before you publish the post on online platform verify it proofreading should be done grammatical errors spelling mistakes should be removed try to keep it very simple lively and interesting because this is online as most online reader are scanner lengthy means uninteresting so try to keep your blog as short as as but information should be more useful and be direct try to maintain communicative approach through your blog like people should not feel that they are reading something the readers the viewer should feel that the blogger is talking talking to them so direct and crisp try to answer w five w's in first paragraph who what why when and where so your entry means the post when you published on blog try to maintain frequency at least monthly weekly don't uh, publish every day better uh, instead of publishing lengthy articles keep it short and use appropriate frequency of your blog keyword student mm, you know whenever you want to search anything you type the word in google google engine search engine and google direct us to that particular information or website so better use keyword so you know if you apply keyword to your post definitely uh, you will get maximum access uh, from other reader and the visits the blog will be reviewed by google and uh, search engine definitely suggest that information is available on your blog whatever information you are going to write in the blog it should be clearly written don't write so lengthy passages better make it short three or four sentences would be sufficient student Uh, use punctuation marks comma dash appropriately don't confuse them don't confuse reader otherwise they won't visit your blog again better use expression communicate your approach as i told you it should feel that readers that you are talking to them directly so use clear headline don't be afraid to make bold statement don't misguide people so some sentences given here student you can use in your blog uh check grammar spelling mistakes as this is important thing for your blog uh check plagiarism don't try to steal things from other blog and copy paste uh keyword apply on your blog so definitely readers access reader will increase on your blog now student this is most important thing how to write blog post in easy steps as blog importance of blog we have already discussed student still i will again tell you importance of blog means blog going to refine your thoughts 
blog rewards the creator blog increases knowledge blog connect us to our people blog give introvert voice blogs accelerate discovery blogs open up world without border student even blogs having structure there should be header menu bar navigation bar main content idea latest post sidebar profile footer should be there privacy policy content page so these all type of benefits you can consider while writing your personal or professional blog express yourself and share your passion make a difference share interesting information refine your writing skills learn how to make money online build your professional network earn more media exposure so student all these are the benefits for your blog now let's simplify what are the steps you can follow while writing blog first step student uh, try to create outline topic research checking facts choose important topic accordingly you have to plan give it attractive title then third is draft headline that is both informative and will capture readers attention so definitely headline is headline should be catchy it should attract reader and it should be informative next step try to give introduction in the first paragraph itself that what type of information you have given in your entire blog try to use images to enhance the comprehension of the reader try to maintain flow use a short paragraph and short sentence and words and last point student edit your blog post if required if you have done any mistake try to edit it and again upload it try to avoid repetition read your post aloud and check it flow and keep sentences and paragraphs short it is all right to delete or modify your writing at last moment end your post with discussion question because if you give discussion question in the ending definitely a reader will give feedback that the blog was good or you made mistake or what readers want you will come to know through the comment box